Look at the fact you guys don't have any interceptions yet. Oh you, knew gonna, you knew I was going to ask like about sixth it. person. I know. Well, but you're, the group's doing a lot of things well. Yes. Um, so for the average fan who's fixated on that zero, right. what is your group doing well consistently? Um, they're making the play the defense allows them to make. Um, they're playing their butts off. Um, they're breaking up passes. They're making tackles. They're blitzing off the edge, getting sacks. They're becoming total players, but we're a long way away from where we need to be. Um, the fact that the, in the interception goose egg is there, <laughs> I, I don't know if it's uh, – it, I don't think it's for lack of trying. Um, but I also know that they're going out there competing and making the plays we're allowing them to make. And I think there's probably been about six balls that we probably had a chance to come down with that we didn't. And, you know, we're not having this conversation. So I think we got to continue to make the play in the moment and not just be satisfied with a pass breakup. Um, but I think our guys are competing. I think the, the lack of interceptions is not from anything fundamentally wrong with what they're doing or – a coverage scheme, I think it's just sort of circumstance. And, you know, we've had games where people run the ball 55 times. I was going to say, I mean, you said circumstance. The run-pass ratio against you is pretty heavily oh, weighted on the run side. I mean, yes. last week, just 17 passes, I think. Uh, the Pittsburgh attempted 18 passes. Yes. So the teams are running the ball a lot against you. Yes. And you guys are in the field a lot. I mean, the yes. difference is about 15 snaps a game. Right. So uh, how much is that a part of it as well? Just opportunity. Well, opportunity is part of it. Your team's got to throw the ball. I mean, you figure if you're a corner, the team throws it 18 times, maybe two passes came your way all game. If you think about that ratio yeah. between all the people, between the linebackers and tight ends. So you may, Des may get four attempts in a game. And if he gets two pass breakups and two incompletions, I'm pretty happy as a coach. They don't have an interception. So I think we got to continue to make strides so when the opportunity comes, we're not going to get many of them. And if we don't get many of them, we got to make them count. So you just keep expressing the fundamentals. Are, are, are you guys playing the run better? I mean, they've had a lot of opportunities to learn to, to, to experience playing the run this year. But are they playing the run better now than they were maybe earlier in the year? I think so. We're, we're, we're tackling better for sure. We're gang tackling the football better. Um, and I got two older guys back there at safety who know what to do. So I think it's once you get a feel for what teams do, and then for whatever reason, we always see different stuff on defense. So it once we get settled, we know what's going on. I think we're attacking the run. And here we got to have a gang tackle mentality. And so I think our t these young guys are buying in and we're getting that done. Not to put anything on the linebackers, but they're still a work in progress. Uh, they're young and sometimes there's some issues there. How much does that affect some of your guys, especially knowing that they sometimes they may have to make up for something because there have been some struggles in the middle? Just really the way we fundamentally teach defense, safety is already racers. So it doesn't matter if what happens with an upfront gap or second level. If it gets through, we got to get it down. And I thought earlier in the year we didn't do a good enough job of tackling it for a gain of 10. It was a gain of 28. So I think we're getting back to where we're erasers. We pin the ball between the two safeties or the one out safety comes out and makes the tackle. But we can't let the ball be really explosive plays no matter which gap or how it gets through there. One more question about the interceptions, because I find it fascinating that Coach Chizik said that, you know, it's not psychological, the guys. You don't have to coach them about that. Yeah. Uh, why is that? Is it because you have a veteran group for the most part back there? No, I just there, think or? these guys have been playing football since they were five years old. They all know when a ball's in there, go catch a ball. I think that comes second nature. But, again, it's opportunity, it's circumstance, and it's making the play in the moment and being in position to make the play. So I don't think that it is all in the kids' heads. Uh, I think that's more people talking to them about people it. People outside the sport just kind of make yeah, too I mean, much of it. Yeah, I mean, people are fixated sports on Sports writers make too much of it. <laughs> fixated on no interceptions, <laughs> which we all want interceptions. But at the end of the day, we want wins. And whatever we do defensively that helps this team win football games, that's going to be the ultimate. So if we win a bunch of games and have very little interceptions, I'll be okay with it. Thanks. I appreciate it. No